and welcome to episode 37 of Sweet Lavender News Podcast. My name is Christine and I'm coming to you from just outside of Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Today is October the 27th, a very gloomy Sunday afternoon and I thought maybe this might be the very very last time that I will be able to podcast outside. It is chilly so I've got on uh, my warm knits and uh, I'm going to try and do this podcast outside. We're just outside of my bedroom door on the balcony and I can see the rain clouds rolling in so let's move this along really fast. Um, You can find me on social media as sweet underscore lavender one on Instagram and as sweet lavender one on uh, Ravelry. We also have a lovely Ravelry group called Sweet Lavender Knits. So come on by, check us out. And if you like what you see, uh, do join in and introduce yourself in the welcome thread. The podcast is mainly about knitting. I don't have a local knit night to go to, so I've welcomed you to mine. So why don't you grab your needles, something nice to drink, a great project to work on, and let's get started. So first of all, I wanna say a very, very big welcome to all the new subscribers. There's been quite a lot of you, um, almost 100 of you, which I I am just mind blown about. uh, And I'm very, very grateful. Thank you for your subscription. And I hope you enjoy the content that you see here. And uh, welcome back to all of you that are returning and who have been with me on this journey so far. And I really, really thank you for that. Uh, I also want to say a very, very big thank you to every one of you who um, really supported me on my release of my first knitting design, uh, the Downtown Shorties sock pattern on October the 11th, which also happened to be my birthday. And I was just overwhelmed with all of the uh, birthday wishes. Thank you for it. And as well as all the support and love uh, for the pattern. I was just, you, I would never be able to put it into words how um, humbling it was as well as just um, um, I don't know it's just a very very grateful heart uh, for this community because you supported me it was a very simple pattern and yet it took off very well and uh, so many of you um, took the pattern and um, um, you know some of you've already knit and completed the pattern as well which is amazing to see all of the projects and I was just amazed so I was watching um, I was watching Ravelry uh, that weekend Uh, there was a lot that was going on that weekend because um, it also happened to be a Thanksgiving weekend which i'll talk about more at the uh towards the end but um i was watching that uh ravelry page and just seeing how many people were uh picking up the pattern um i had offered it uh for free over the weekend and um i was just Uh, you know just uh, floored when i saw that it hit uh the top I don't know what it is, but the top uh, pattern, the the list of top patterns, I think it was, and then it went to number one. I was like, wow, I have to, I have to take a picture of this because, you know, it's not every day that it happens, right? So um, yes, I am very, very grateful for all your support, and for those of you that uh, went ahead and shared it with everybody else, and I really thank all of you for it. Um, I want to say a special thank you uh, to my podcast, fellow podcasters, especially um, a newer friend uh, is Ali of um, Little Drops of Wonderful from where most of you have come here to this um, um, podcast. And um, thank you very much, Ali, for that introduction. And uh, as well as um, El- Ellie from Craft House Magic, um, who had mentioned uh, the design uh, on her um, podcast as well. And if there's anybody else out there that I haven't mentioned, um, uh, I'm sorry. And I really, uh, if I haven't mentioned, I thank you very much. Or in 
in advance um, for having done that for me. Um, so yes, it was a very, very exciting time and I really did want to thank all of you for your love, for your support and uh, just, you know, giving um, this little person here in this corner of the world a chance uh, at uh, doing something I really love. So thank you very much. So I do want to give a quick mention as to one of our cows that we are running right now. Um, or the cow that we're running right now. It is a three month long cow. So if you haven't started, uh, there is more than enough time to do so. You can actually pick up your needles right now and you should you can be part of that cow because it is the year end whip down cow. And it's started on the October the 1st and it will be going up until December 31st. Uh, I am drawing for month prices at the end of each month um, which would be in a couple of days for October October on October 31st for from the chatter thread right now but I'm thinking maybe well you guys can tell me if you prefer to open a, a finished objects thread or if you just want to keep it in the chatter thread uh, because I find that it's quite exciting when you have your list and you are posting your finished objects there as well so you can sort of see where you're at with your list and of course you don't have to work your uh, you know down the list in the same order that you've written it out in but some of you have really really uh, very elaborate lists and uh, I just have one that I'm trying to finish uh, for this uh, you know during this cal and um, I don't even know if I will, but I am working towards it. So I will share that in just a little bit. Um, yes, so that is our year end uh, whip down cal. And basically that is what it is, is uh, you are just finishing your works in progress, um, getting them off those needles. So you'll have free needles, just cast on more projects in the new year. And uh, yeah, do join in. So uh, go by the Ravelry page and um, you know, uh, the group uh, and uh, just um, find the thread and list all of your projects that you plan to finish within this time and uh, then just start you know working them off and uh, adding your progress as you go along and you can chat as much as you want um, I will be drawing a winner at the end of every month and there will be a yarny prize at the end of the uh, Cal in December um, so yes do join in uh, we have a few people there and uh, you know so the more the merrier so the, do go ahead and join in this is for everyone because we all have works in progress on our needles that we can you know it would be nice to get off our needles some of those languishing whips maybe all right uh, the other is I want to say oh yes a special mention is the um, the prize that I will be drawing for October 31st will be um, very generously donated by um, Patricia who is uh, Astrid, I'll put her Ravelry ID on um, the screen and she's one of my viewers and uh, she very very generously offered to donate a pattern price off of Ravelry for $10 and under uh, for um, as a giveaway and I thought I would use that for the prize for um, the cow so thank you very 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 much Patricia and I appreciate all of your support and uh, yes I will let you know after October 31st who I draw for the winner so that um, we can go ahead and uh, give them their prize uh, what else and I do have some giveaway winners that I need to announce and I will do that at the end of the podcast so if you'll stick around for that you will find out um, I think I've gone I'm just looking at my notes oh and I need to mention for all of you who are new um, I don't do show notes um, and you if you ever go back to some of my older podcasts you would hear me say that however one of my viewers has been so kind in doing show notes for all of the episodes up until uh, the most recent one and so you can find show notes on the Ravelry group as well it is getting a little windy 
you know add, adding to the background music I guess <laughs> for the end of October so there you go um, yes so uh, if you are looking for show notes it is there in our Ravelry group um, so thank you very very much uh, Sandra she is I love my garden on Ravelry and uh, she has been very very kind in doing up the show notes for me so thank you again and uh, yes so as let's move along to finished objects which I don't have a finished object I'm gonna show you something which I think is sort of counts as a finished object although it is not finished and uh, that is my tube socks and as you can see it's not finished but I've finished knitting the tube so for those who are joining us on uh, for the first time or haven't watched the previous ep episode I've uh, really enjoyed knitting a tube socks, a pair of socks for the last month. I have one of my goals for this year was to knit a pair of socks per month and I usually cast on on the first of the month and try to knit up that pair within the month. Um, it may not seem like a big deal to some people but I am a slow knitter and I have very little knitting knitting time so to speak so a pair, a pair for a month is um, about all I can manage uh, although I have uh, you know I, I am hoping to have 12 pairs done by the end of the year which means I would have to sneak in a pair or, or maybe pair and a half or two within the next two months um, so yes I knit this tube socks cast it on on October the 1st and it is much much longer than my last tube that I knit um, and I actually just cast off about half an hour ago um, and that was the reason it's the podcast is just a little later in the day today um, the reason it took me much longer is you can see it's a longer tube but it's also 72 stitches as opposed to 64 it's a pair of socks that I'm planning to knit up for my oldest son who's 19 and he has fairly big feet compared to mine so not only did I have to go 72 it stitches um, stitches up from the 64 but I also have to uh, account for a longer foot uh, without the toes and heels that I will be um, putting in um, once I was done the tube or w which I will be putting in now um, uh, so I was knitting this and I asked him um, uh, you know for a pair of socks I could um, one of his so um, already knit hand, hand knit socks so I could measure his foot and see how, how where my halfway point was and uh, at which he said oh I you know this is nice but I would really like a longer leg you can s imagine how thrilled I was to hear that <laughs> because that just meant I had to knit a little bit more but of course you know we we'll, we always like to knit for um, uh, our children especially when they're knit worthy like he is so there I was and it took me a very long time to knit this so over the last three weeks I think it's been or two and a half weeks this is all I've been knitting actually three weeks uh, over the last three weeks this is all I've been knitting uh, pretty much and I'm I'm really happy to at least show that I've done I'm done with the tube and now today is the 27th I have literally three days um, in which to get the heels and toes done on the sock so basically what it is is I would have to cut into where the stitch marker is and uh, take them apart into two halves and then put on um, toes and then also cut in for the heel and then put on heel the yarn is Gumi 50 by Berger de France and it's in the colorway Imprim khaki I'll put it up on the screen and um, I the last pair of socks that I did with the tube I was able to get away with one of the 50 gram balls but this one mm -mm, I couldn't even if I tried just because I had to knit more and the stitches were more so I have about this much left which I might be able to if I pair it up with another 
plain yarn um, I might be able to get uh, another pair of socks out of it maybe shorties even so we'll we'll have to see what I can do with that but I'm gonna call this my finish sort of object for this time and I will uh, obviously be cutting into it and putting in the heels and toes so that is that and then um, I do have more uh, I do have more works in progress so let me show you this is my lovely uh, bag uh, from Boku and uh, I love this bag it's huge it's so um, it can hold a lot like it can hold a lot it's got all of the yarns um, yarn balls in here for for this um, jumper that I'm knitting and it is uh, did you like the color <laughs> thank you you know many of you uh, agreed with me in that the color is nice and I, I really you know that every time I read one of those comments I'm like yes I can't wait to wear it now now all I have to do is just knit it faster <laughs> but yes this is my Rocaine a pullover by Christina Danahy and it is a lovely Gansey style um, pattern that I am knitting and um, I realized last time I was talking to you about how I don't have to think about the back and the front but I did have to and I only realized it when I was when I went back and started on the which is now the front um, because it's it's got it's got a lower neck and I didn't think about that so anyways um, I think it'll all work out at the end we'll see um, but I was I have a progress keeper so I haven't done a lot like I said I've been knitting on that tube socks but I've done a few rows as you can see it's where my little progress keeper is I have to show this off this is from one of my really nice um, Instagram friends uh, Carla from Scotland and she sent me this along with some yarn but I call him Artie the Owl and um, it's because the yarn that came with it uh, was Arthur Seat I think it was so Arthur and then my son named him Artie so there the name kind of stuck and uh, he keeps me company while I'm knitting this uh, jumper it's a beautiful jumper I, I just can't wait to be done with it not in a bad way just because I, I am eager to wear it the yarn is knit picks DK stroll and it's in the colorway Bordeaux uh, I'm knitting it on um, knit picks needles and I um, I can't remember what size it is but if you must know then you know message me and i'll try to find out what it is but yeah um yeah so that is my work in progress one of my work in progress and that obviously uh didn't get a lot of work done on it um but i i was glad to get at least a few rows and uh, it's sort of that is my entry for not entry but you know that is what i'm working on trying to finish before the uh year end so for the year end whip down cow and then I cast on something on my birthday so I have the birthday cast on I was gifted this yarn this lovely yarn by log house cottage um, no the, the yarn is by log house cottage I was gifted the yarn by one of my uh, co-workers who also knits uh, and um, we tend to give yarny gifts to each other at Christmas and birthdays which is nice that you have at least a, one person at work who you know you can engage with uh, about uh, the craft so this is the yarn it's a lovely speckled uh, it's got purple speckles and just the lovely lilac -y purple you can see that that is my color <laughs> and um, yes yeah, so I really enjoyed this yarn I was uh, I kept it as eye candy for just about a year and then I thought what better you know um, reason to cast it on for my birthday but I also have somebody in mind who I'm knitting this pair of socks for who is quite special to my mom she's one of my mom's friends and uh, she's just been through um, um, 
a little bit of a health trauma and is recovering thankfully and so I thought I would um, you know knit a pair of socks for her and uh, hopefully that'll cheer her up just a little bit at least so this is a lovely pattern just a simple cable running down the leg um, and it is called uh, a hocus pocus sock I think it is um, I don't have the pattern written out on my notes but I'll put it up uh, on the screen it's by Helen Stewart curious handmade and it I believe it is hocus pocus sock I'm not sure but something around that line and it is a lovely cable that um, sort of breaks up into sections and you can't quite see the sections um, maybe it'll be more visible once it's blocked but so I'm doing one two three four and I'm just I'm just on my fifth after which I do the heel turn heel flap heel heel flap heel turn and gusset and then the foot and the cable runs all the way down the foot so that is what I started on October 11th and uh, as you can see it's not a lot but um, between the tube sock and this this is my train knitting I'm housing it in this um, project bag that I have by and I never say this correctly so let me try and re read it out it's a stitch by Jessica uh, and I got this I believe about a year or maybe two uh, at a Pittsburgh um, yarn festival or fiber festival and uh, I love the bag it's it's very nice and it fits right on top of my uh, tote that I carry to work and I enjoy it so those are my works in progress I'm just gonna put that down there and uh, yeah I'm moving on to the giveaways Hannah from Yarnia designs uh, who also has a podcast tales of Yarnia um, released her pattern called cinnamon apple socks and uh, she I had tested it for the pattern and she was very kind enough to give us two copies of the pattern as giveaways on our uh, on the podcast so uh, on my last podcast I did uh, mention the details and we were gonna pick up uh, I was gonna uh, pick a winner from YouTube as well as one from the Ravelry thread and uh, so now we have winners uh, here they are so I've done, drawn them just by random number generator and some of you did mention uh, that what the prompt was um, what cinnamon apple reminds you of and so here we go we're here we have the winners so on YouTube um, it was Victoria Knits and Victoria says that uh, cinnamon apple reminds her of tea. Hmm, that sounds yum. Congratulations Victoria and uh, please do send me your Ravelry ID so I can pass that along to Hannah to have her gift you the pattern. And then I'm moving on to the Ravelry thread uh, again. I the random number generator and uh, the winner is angelic embers uh, who is Nicole so congratulations Nicole and uh, she is from New Jersey and um, so please do I, I'm sorry I didn't write down what Nicole had uh, that cinnamon apple reminded her of um, but congratulations Nicole so please do um, uh, let me know actually you don't need to let me know I know your rivalry ID so I will pass that along to Hannah who will gift you the pattern so I'll keep you in the loop the both of you so congratulations to Victoria as well as um, Nicole on those uh, on the cinnamon apple socks uh, pattern so moving along to acquisitions and uh, for those of you who have been watching, you've probably heard me say just over maybe the last episode or the one before that, where I wasn't really planning on making any purchases because I want to try and knit from stash as much as possible. I have a lovely stash that I have um, 
you know, uh, picked each of those skeins for a reason and I didn't have a pattern in mind. So that was my approach. Um, and I think it is with all knitters uh, when they're first introduced to um, hand knit uh, or hand dyed yarn is uh, you just go for whatever looks nice and I have a lot of uh, single skeins and now I'm trying to find patterns to go with those skeins. And so I'm trying to knit from uh, stash as much as possible. So you can imagine how uh, surprised I was when I received this package in the post. I was totally, totally blown away. And um, I just want to say a very, very big thank you to Perlin, who's Planet Pro on Instagram and she has a lovely podcast where she does like vlog style um, videos on her uh, knitting adventures and um, so do go and check her out and uh, she's in New Zealand speech is so soft and uh, you know it's just very pleasing to listen to and very cheerful which is so nice and um, I really really thank you Perlin for um, being so kind and I you know I had shown uh, some interest in her bags uh, she she is a bag maker so when the package arrived I was just so amazed and it's so nice of her to do this so I received this lovely bag and it's got cats and yarn and you know what more can you ask for right it's so pretty and this is her little tag she's got with her details on the back really nice and it's lined on the inside with some newspaper print it's a drawstring bag oh I'm not very good at showing this it's beautiful but what I I'm so excited about is now that I've shown it to you oh and her shop is called hold and cherish I think um, and she's in Christchurch New Zealand obviously I didn't um, you know prepare and how to how to introduce her so I am very sorry Pauline for doing such a bad job at it <laughs> but on top of that she went ahead and sent me even more stuff and really you didn't have to do it at all but here some yarn and it goes with the bag do you see that the colors this is lovely yarn um i've never heard of this brand before but now i know it's called outlaw yarn and they have a website called www.outlaw.com and it's in their bohemia sport uh, which is 45% Polworth, 45% alpaca, and 10% possum. <gasps> I've never had yarn with possum in it. <laughs> it's just very exotic to me. Um, and the colorway is Glass House. So she so kindly sent me two balls of this yarn, and I think it is uh, 25. 50 grams 50 grams oh my that's a lot 50 grams and on top of that so not just the bag and the yarn but she's also sent me a pattern to knit up that yarn in and this is the briar mitts and it's for that specific yarn weight that I can knit it up and these are fingerless mitts and you know what just um, I received this and it was just a couple of days before that that it hadn't suddenly gotten chilly and it was so cold in the office that I couldn't type my fingers were so cold and I was telling my friend the nitty friend um, that it would be really nice to have well she suggested that she would like to knit fingerless mittens I was like yeah you know we should find a pattern for it so now I have a pattern and uh, I think it's gonna be perfect so I, I have so many things I want to knit up just not enough arms you know hands <laughs> and time 
but uh, I will definitely be using this and so thank you very very much Perlin that was very very nice of you and um, you know I can't wait to start using your drawstring bag because I've been uh, waiting to show it on the podcast for me to start using it so now I can which is exciting so thank you very much again and uh, uh, yes, and on top of that, um, it was also the week that uh, I think it was not not the past week, but the week before that, when Making's uh, number eight, volume number eight, Forest went out, and I received my copy of it, and um, it was something I was looking forward to for uh, ever since the Desert uh, edition came out um, the last time. I was looking forward to the forest because I'm very much about botanicals and um, just the greenery or, or even the botanical motifs and um, the, uh, just the feel of it, the vibe of it. Um, so I was really looking forward to it. Um, I have to say that uh, it is a very beautiful magazine to go through but um, this is number eight and I have all of them from one through eight. Um, but sadly, I have not made anything out of this magazine. Uh, I know I would like to do this or that or that. And so there are a few patterns that I do like to do, um, but nothing that has, you know, that, that has just grabbed my attention so much where I want to cast on right now. Uh, the, there is a, I think it's buds and leaves or something like that. I forget the name. Um, there is a and I believe it was in the making number one and that is one that I will definitely be casting on but again you know not one that I'm jumping to cast on right away it's just there and it's like okay I will cast it on I like it so there are a few things in the so I think I'm gonna give making um, a pass for a bit because uh, maybe there is um, something else that I would like to look into um, maybe another magazine or uh, you know somewhere where I could um, gain a little bit more from um, not to say that this is not a good magazine it's it's beautiful it's got a wide variety of um, crafts um, it's got a recipe in there al almost always and um, but a lot of those crafts are things that I will read about or look at but not necessarily try so I'm, I think I want to go towards something that will cater to my um, likes a little bit more um, so yes uh, it is a beautiful magazine um, and you know what I like mushrooms just to tell you that it is beautiful so they have like lots of nice things in there but um, looking through I didn't find anything that I really really um, would even want to talk to you about um, and that's just a personal thing but yes I did receive the making magazine as well and I enjoyed that um, Yes, so those have been my acquisitions and now um, uh, if you are here only for the knitting content uh, then I want to say a very big thank you to you and hopefully we'll see you again on our next knit night. Uh, I am going to chat a little bit about what's been happening over the last two or three weeks uh, or what um, uh, yeah just just about stuff really uh, so if you want to hang around for that sure go ahead um, so it is fall it's fall is in full swing here and uh, I am loving the fall this year I am just autumn fall uh, we call it fall here and uh, it is just perfect fall weather and uh, it's just cool and sunny during the afternoons but it gets cooler at nights where you do need to you know layer in put on that heavy duvet and uh, I like it I like it like that uh, it's not cold cold but I do have to have something around my neck um, oh and let me show you I am wearing my Beaumont jumper that I knit um, earlier this year I finished it and uh, it is perfect for today I'm actually 
I have uh, two layers underneath so it is I am toasty warm right now no problem and it is perfect so it is a nice cable jumper I'll just stand up a little bit uh, and it goes down into stocking net um, but yeah and I just have I, I need something around my neck always so it, it's really cozy I was gonna get one of my hand knit shawls but I didn't have anything to go with the purple maybe that's something i do need to knit <laughs> we'll see uh, but yeah it's been per perfect uh but um yes so that thanksgiving weekend it was october the 14th i believe uh was our the 12th 13th and 14th monday was thanksgiving monday um so that weekend was a long weekend for us and so um my daughter was off school on uh, the friday and so she was off so we decided uh to do a girls trip uh, my mom my daughter myself drove out to um maryland in the states um so that is uh, we're in we're in Ontario, Canada, and drive down was uh, over three states: so New York, Pennsylvania, and then Maryland. It was uh, about an eight and a half hour drive, uh, and some of you will be going, "Are you crazy to do that over a weekend?" Um, we've done it for shorter than three days <laughs> so yes uh we are that crazy sometimes um yes yeah, so we drove down and the drive down was just the most beautiful ever like i believe i've driven down in late spring um summer uh, New Year's Eve um, but I don't remember ever driving in the fall and it looking so spectacular the fall colors were so beautiful so I captured a little bit of footage which I will show towards the end and I hope you enjoy that it was just a beautiful beautiful display of fall in all of its glory and it was just the lovely colors and it just set the mood for our weekend I was there we visited family and friends um, and uh, I even had a surprise birthday party like a mini party with cake and all and um, you know thank you to my friends for doing that although uh, you know they did know that I don't like the fuss so um, that was quite a bit of a surprise for me um, but the the thing on my mind was uh, the design that I had um, Put out there and just to see how many of you were so uh, accepting of it and uh, of you know sharing in my excitement I was I was really really taken uh, up by that so thank you all very so much for that and uh, do keep in your to this um, uh, space because uh, I hope that will not be the last of uh, designs for me um, it just got the ball rolling and now I have a million things on my mind that I want to put down into um, you know into patterns so we'll see how it works out and I um, yeah I, I thank you again for all of your support in doing that so I think I will leave you with that. I hope you've enjoyed uh, what you watched today. I hope you got your knitting done or crafting done that you have and uh, wishing you the very best in the week to come. And I, I hope wherever you are that you have a wonderful week ahead of you and most of all, happy knitting. Bye-bye.